there, thank you for watching. My name is Quinn Myers, team lead at the Silk Real Estate Group in San Diego, also with Remax Coastal Properties. And we're coming at you today with a new question from one of our buyers in Imperial Beach, one of our clients. Uh, his question is in regards to a 1031 exchange, not the typical question that we, uh, that we answered previously, what is a 1031 exchange? This question is, if you are a buyer and you are purchasing a property where the seller uh, request cooperation with his 1031 exchange, what that tells you and how that changes the relationship and that buying process, knowing that the seller of the property that you are making an offer on is uh, going to do a 1031 exchange. So what that tells you is a few things about the seller of that property and not only their incentive to sell, but also their motivation. So in a typical situation, that seller is not in a big hurry to sell that property. Uh, they are in a, in a financial situation where they're going to put the proceeds of that sale into another property with, in, in many situations, more money. And so they're in a good financial situation where they're looking to, in a sense, double down on their investment in real estate. And so typically that seller is in a situation where they are going to uh, wait for the, the highest possible market value offer. Um, they're not in a position where you're going to be able to negotiate them very strongly. Oftentimes is the case they don't need to sell. And generally, if a, if a seller is in the process of a 1031 exchange, they're a pretty seasoned investor. They're not in a situation where they're kind of, in a sense, wet behind the ears to the market. And you can, you know, come in with some sort of a, a strong offer with different sorts of terms that could be attractive to that novice seller or that novice investor. And so that what that really tells you is if you're buying a property where the seller's doing a 1031 exchange, this is not typically a property where you're going to get a screaming deal on it. Now that's not to say that you can't buy it for, for fair market value. It's not to say that this is a property that you should walk away from or no longer consider. It's simply a property where the seller is usually a seasoned investor and he or she is in a position where they are typically not ultra motivated and do not have a lot of incentive to move very quickly or agree or kind of be tempted to common terms of negotiation when it comes to buying. Hope this video was very helpful. Helps you kind of wrap your mind around the negotiation situation when it comes to buying a property where the seller requests that you cooperate with their 1031 exchange. Again, my name is Quinn Myers with the Silk Real Estate Group in San Diego, and we hope you enjoyed and were informed by this video. Thanks a lot.